welcome to this video about the aircraft classification numbers ACN and the pavement classification numbers PCN. At the end you will be able to explain the difference between the aircraft classification number and the pavement classification number and you will also be able to explain the application in daily aircraft operations. The aircraft classification number is a single unique number expressing the relative effect of an aircraft on a pavement for a specified subgrade strength specifying a particular pavement thickness. The ACN consists of a number on a continuous scale ranging from zero on the lower end and with no upper limit. It is computed between rigid and flexible pavement and the subgrade support strength category. The aircraft manufacturer should provide charts that indicate the ACN for a variety of conditions. In the case of a Gulfstream G450, the appropriate charts are found in the performance handbook. Note that there are four such charts. The first one for rigid pavement with a tire pressure of 189 psi the second one for flexible pavement with a tire pressure of 189 psi. The third is for rigid pavement with a tire pressure to match the load. And the fourth is for flexible pavement with a tire pressure to match the load. The aircraft operator selects the chart corresponding to the pavement at his destination and his actual tire pressure. The pavement classification number PCN is also an ICAO standard. It is used in combination with the aircraft classification number to indicate the strength of a runway, taxiway or apron. This helps to ensure that the runway, taxiway and apron are not subjected to excessive wear and tear in order to prolong the usable life of the surfaces while promoting safe aircraft operations. The pavement classification number is expressed as a five-part code, separated by forward slashes, describing the piece of pavement concerned. The first part is a numerical value, indicating the load carrying capacity of the pavement. This is always reported as a whole number, rounded from the determined capacity. The value is calculated based on a number of factors such as aircraft geometry and pavement's traffic patterns. The second part is a letter, either an R or an F, depending on whether the pavement is of a rigid, most typically concrete, or a flexible design, most typically asphalt. The third part is another letter, from A to D expressing the strength of what is underneath the pavement section, known as the subgrade. So, a subgrade of A would be very strong, like concrete stabilized clay. A subgrade of D would be very weak, like uncompacted soil. The fourth part is expressing the maximum tire pressure that the pavement can support. W means no pressure limit. X means high pressure, Y means medium pressure, and Z means low pressure. The fifth describes how the first value was worked out. T stands for technical evaluation and a U stands for usage and is based on aircraft experiences. The ACN and PCN method is used for aircraft with a weight of more than 5,700 kg and for the surfaces at the aerodrome. The aircraft classification is a single number. The pavement classification number is a five-part code. The method shall ensure that runways, taxiways and aprons are not subjected to excessive load. This shall prolong the usable life of the surfaces while promoting safe aircraft operations. If the pavement classification number 
exceeds the aircraft classification number, the aircraft can safely be operated on the aerodrome's surfaces.